direction for the artwork centred around the opportunities of the site. The brief called for a theme of spirit and purity, and so we combine both of those, and spirit pertaining to community and the purity speaking to the landscape. Went on a little exploration around Esperance, so I went for a drive out to National Park, local beaches. It's such a dynamic natural palette that was there, we thought, what a great opportunity to celebrate that and, you know, make this design that quintessential Esperance. The clear waters, the granite, the rock, the patterns, the movement, the open sky. I felt like it came quite naturally to, to embrace nature uh, in the way that we approached the design. So we put those two together and created a painted treatment with this elevation of lighting and dynamic lighting to create an overall artwork that can be experienced from many different angles around the site. We wanted it to be subtle, sit on the actual architecture in a way that felt integrated, that it felt like it belonged rather than it's been stuck there, which is really, really special for us. The building's pretty unique, it's got so many like funky angles and the way the light hits it and the shadows that it casts and all these sort of different experiences and it sort of juts out and the way you move around it is quite, it's quite unique. It's the largest and probably most technical that we've ever had to work on just because we're treating multiple surfaces so that roof and that, that entire facade that wraps around from the roof down to the render uh, and just the scale of it. You know, art in public spaces is about conversation and allowing people to converse with each other and allowing the community to be strengthened through those conversations. So the artwork is a combination of a painted treatment that wraps the entire facade of the building with specific dynamic lighting that's under the canopy and then an overall lighting sequence that can be programmed and calendared over the year and responds to the site in real time. So the lighting takes its form from lines of the surf and the water as it washes up onto these pure Esperance shores. And so we've taken those sort of like, it's like a draping of a curtain on those lines and then translated that to that canopy ceiling, to that surface. And then we're going to pulse dynamic lighting through that space. So it's going to be programmed to a specific time and day that is really speaking back to how the Civic Centre is experienced. So, you know, a Friday evening versus a Saturday evening, for example, or a Monday evening there's a different experience, so it can be quite dynamic, or we can have moments where it's quite passive and sort of still and calm. How people will receive it is really up to the community. Our hope is that the artwork is beyond just aesthetic appeal, and do I, don't I like it, as to more, hey, this brings us together, and the emotion that it evokes through coming together is actually why we love this artwork. You have this beautiful legacy that begins to be established through the artwork, Obviously we do want the aesthetic appeal and we want it to look good, but we really hope that it's, it's a layered engagement and not just a do I or don't I like it. Humbling is the word that continues to come back to mind because it's something that we do leave and it's something that we pass on.